Hey guys, Neely here. I'm coming in today for a quick and easy baked potato recipe. Most of it is not actually baked because I'm doing it in the Instant Pot. And I'll show you the super easy and quick way and then the additional step you can take if you want to uh, take it to that next level if you have the extra time. I have about four pounds of potatoes here and you can see that they are various sizes. In a perfect world, all potatoes would be the same size and they would cook at the same rate, but that's not always the case. So when you're cooking them in the Instant Pot, there are a couple things you can do to help them cook at the same rate. The first thing you can do is just cut your larger potatoes in half and then um, there'll be a smaller chunk and they'll cook faster. The other thing that I like to do is to put the larger potatoes on the bottom because closer to the bottom of the Instant Pot um, will cook faster than the top. So I'm going to put my large potatoes on the bottom and my smallest potatoes on the top. And then when I'm finished cooking, I just have to check. Sometimes the big potatoes at the bottom aren't quite done. So I'll pull out all the ones that are done and then put a couple more minutes for the big ones. But that's just something you kind of have to play by ear because potatoes are all different sizes. So I wanted to mention I have one to two cups of water down in the bottom of my Instant Pot and I have my trivet in just to keep the potatoes out of the water. I'm also going to give a couple of quick pokes to my potatoes and full disclosure I don't always poke my potatoes before I cook them. A lot of times I'll just throw them right in and I have no problem but since I'm giving you guys directions I don't want you guys to have a potato explosion and then be upset with me so I'm telling you to poke your potatoes. So now I'm just gonna layer them in here with the bigger ones on the bottom. There they are all of my cleaned and scrubbed and poked potatoes. I also wanted to show you a trick for peeling your potatoes if you are making potatoes that you don't want the skin on and you'd like to peel them after they're cooked. What you can do is just put an X with a sharp knife. I just use this knife over here. Put an X on the end of the potatoes and then let them cook as normal and then I will show you when they're done um, how to slip the skin right off. And now all I'm going to do is lock my lid in place. Put it on ceiling. I'm going to put it on manual for 15 minutes and you just use the plus button to add minutes or the minus button to take away to get to 15 minutes and it'll beep in a second to say it's on and then I'll let it do its thing. It finished its 10 minutes cooking time and it's at four minutes natural pressure release. This is a recipe that you can either do a quick pressure release or a natural pressure release. Whatever works with your schedule. I'm going to go ahead and release the rest of the pressure now. There they are, definitely done. This is one of the ones with the X's on the bottom. I'm going to set those ones aside because they definitely need to cool before you attempt to take off the skin unless you have leather hands. But the rest of these down here are all the way done. The big ones at the bottom are done. The little ones at the top are done. So 15 minutes was a good amount of time. If you have all little potatoes, you could probably get away with 10 minutes. All big potatoes, I'd probably do maybe 17 or 18 minutes. Now these potatoes are totally usable right now and usually I just do them the quick and easy way and um, we eat them like this, but if you're having baked potatoes as one of the main parts of your meal, if you're having company over, you can take this little extra step to get a nice, salty, crunchy skin. I just preheated my oven to 500 degrees and I'm just using this avocado oil. You can use any kind of cooking oil, but I'm just gonna pour the tiniest little amount on here on each potato. And then I'm just gonna kind of oil them all up with my hands. Get all the oil rubbed in real good. And then I'm just going to use my regular salt shaker and shake some salt on the skin and it'll stick a little better with the oil on there. And do the same to the other side. And now I'm just going to place them directly onto my rack in the oven like you would with a regular baked potato. And I'm going to cook them for about 15 minutes. While those potatoes are cooking, I wanted to show you how these ones peel. They've been cooling for about 10 minutes and they're easy to handle now. So you can see the peel just comes right off around where I put the X. And I'll do the other one here real quick. There we go. So the only thing that's time consuming about doing it this way is waiting for them to cool 
before you peel them, but as long as you got the time, very easy way to peel them. And here they are. The skin is nice and crisp now, and it's got the nice salt on it, so this is excellent for a loaded baked potato. It'd be delicious. And that is it for my easy baked potato recipe. Uh, stay tuned, hopefully tomorrow I will be posting a video about what you can do with leftover baked potatoes. Whenever I make baked potatoes, I do a big batch. And then there are a few things that I like to do with the leftovers that are super easy. Broccoli cheese potato soup, as well as um, some roasted potatoes. They're easy just to slice in half and roast and get nice and brown on one side. Um, so I will be showing you that in a video coming up soon. Hope you guys are doing great. I'll talk to you again later. Bye.